We are back. 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 For the glory of Abba Yahweh and Yeshua. Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, and the precious Hua HaKodesh, Holy Spirit of Yah. As many of you know, our mom and pastor Elizabeth Elijah, the prophet of Almighty Wit Ministry, has been on, some, on a sabbatical. She has been away from YouTube for a while. And recently, just recently, she watched Prophecy 122, which was put into video format on YouTube. Obviously. And <laughs> okay. thank, thank you, Annie, for backing me up. <laughs> Keep doing that. She, for the first time in a long while, saw the subscribers that she had to her channel, Yas Lady in Red. Subscribe if you have it. <laughs> and if you don't have a channel, make a channel, subscribe. If yeah. you know what's good for you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay, so the point is, <laughs> she saw the number of subscribers and then she heard you, you should say, you have an unseen army on YouTube who will help and they will get involved if you tell them how. Amen. <laughs> if you are watching this video, you are most likely part of that army that Yahushua spoke of mm -hmm. when Elizabeth Elijah heard him say that. Uh, lately, Elizabeth has been feeling something stirring, something happening in the spiritual realm. And while she was talking to us about it, or telling us about it, she had a vision. And she saw a hornet's nest that was stirred up. Yeah, a hornet's nest that was stirred up and she believed, and she felt that something was going on in the spirit realm, that the latest prophecies that came out, Prophecy 121 and 122, and specifically 122, have stirred up that hornet's nest. The enemy is up to something. And so these hornets are going to be coming out trying to sting. Now as of last December 2012, it has been three years since the enemies of a mighty good ministry have non-stop put out video campaigns to wage war, wage against, war this against this ministry. To fear among the people and chase them away from this ministry and the truths that Yah has given us in this ministry. December 19th actually, just so you know, is about three years. The three year anniversary. That's right. Now the thing is, if the enemy is going to step up in this area of spiritual warfare against this ministry, then we, need we your help. are going to need your help to step up Stand to the plate with you. us and fight back. Because remember, when the righteous do nothing, evil prevails. The unrighteous will flourish if you do nothing. And you don't want to have blood on your hands. Just like we in this ministry don't want to have blood on our hands. And I know many of you are being convicted right now by the Holy Spirit because you can do something to help us. You may even be, have, have felt conviction for months. Um, a Mighty Man Ministry is working to spread the gospel in over 25 languages and, and growing. And we're reaching the world with end time warnings and prophecies. So stand with us. Let us know if you'd be willing to help protest YouTube when the enemies make videos against a Mighty Wind ministry. Videos that violate YouTube community guidelines in terms of service. So much ministry time and resources has been devoted to rebuking the enemies. Over these last three years, although this ministry has done very much to spread the gospel of Yahushua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, all over the world. And, we want to do more. <laughs> and, and put out the anti-prophetic warnings that Yah has given Elizabeth Elijah. And we do it in so many different languages by Yah's grace. Amen. But much, and oftentimes I feel too much focus over the last years has been on our enemies. And if you feel the same way, then please help us. Stand with us. If you are a part of this unseen army, and you no longer want to be unseen, then please get in touch with us as soon as possible. With the subject title, Why do you volunteer? And leave us your regular contact email address so we can give you more information about how to help. Now apart from plain old lies against this ministry, there has been slander, libel, misinformation, and defamation of character. Especially against Elizabeth Elijah and primarily against her. And she's actually described this as emotional gang rape. Remember, this isn't just emotional stuff, this is spiritual warfare. Yeah, this isn't just a communications a media war, this is spiritual warfare. Most of our enemies, most or many I should say, of our enemies are actually occultists wearing the mask of a lukewarm 
Christian and they are casting their curses at this ministry. Over YouTube, enemies have also used hate speech, openly satanic rituals against us. They have gone to the extremes of pornographic or sexually explicit content, often taking our own faces or copyrighted materials and defiling it, turning it into something pornographic or graphically violent, threatening content, portraying our brutal rape or even murder. They've used YouTube as a medium for predatory behavior, stalking threats, harassment, invasion of privacy, phishing for personal information of the ministry team, including our location and residences. Um, there's been open death threats in video showing how they'd like to assassinate us or murder us. Um, you can't imagine how bad it is. We can't show it to you in most cases. It's too graphic that we don't even want to describe it to you. I mean, the list goes on and on. They've also used various means of impersonation and spamming. In their desperation, they use misleading descriptions, tags, titles, or thumbnails in order to increase views. Recently, they've been putting up occult or pornographic videos with the name of our pastor or in the name of a mighty wind, pretending to be a member of the congregation or ministry team. Obviously, this is an attempt to discredit the ministry, to scare away new sheep and lambs, um, and sometimes they'll use it as false evidence to support their slanderous lies about the ministry. All of these things that we just mentioned are against YouTube community guidelines. Now if you have an account and you want to help protest periodically these kind of videos and this activity, then please get in touch with us. Yeah, please contact us via YouTube's personal messaging feature with the title YT Volunteer and please include your regular email address so we can contact you further. Yushua has told us do not steal the blessings from the people. Remember this, there is a blessing in defending holiness, righteousness, and what you believe in. When you hear evil lies spoken about anyone in the Mighty Wind Ministries, test the fruit of the person speaking and you will recognize the voice of Satan. None of our enemies will warn you that you must live holy and obey the Ten Commandments, including the Sabbath day. The enemies want to deafen your ears, and they want to say, Jesus Christ is only a God of love. I don't have to worry about keeping the Ten Commandments. I refuse to live by those laws. I can live any way I want. And I'm going to heaven. You're going to hell. Because you think you can please God. Because you judge us. We will destroy you. They shout again and again and again. You who say there is no hell. You hate this ministry for it preaches there is a hell. You hate this ministry for it warns. That Deuteronomy 28 curses still stands. For those who will rebel and refuse to repent. That they abuse the prophet. They call my ministry evil. They dare me and they mock and they say, nothing's going to happen to us. Elizabeth, go away. They say it's all by grace. It's been done at the cross. Now I can sin all I want. You see, my soul's not lost. It's you. You live by the law. You think you have to obey this God, you say. And yet we say, there's no such thing as sin. It's been done away. They hate you with a passion. They hate all who will preach against sin. They hate all who warn. They say we do not see, we do not hear you. And a mighty wind ministry and prophet Elizabeth Elijah, it's you we despise. We are the Christian community. And no matter what you say, take your mighty wind ministry and take your prophecies away. For we will continue in our sin. And you see, we're still alive. And it doesn't matter if a mighty wind ministry we despise. But your God still hasn't killed us yet. Your God hasn't even touched us. So your God must not be our God. Because our God says we can sin. Our God says we can hate you. Our God says we can destroy a mighty wind. 
Our God says you are a false prophet, and there is no need to repent of our sins. I sent a mighty wind ministry to YouTube, and what they've done unto you, they do to me. And yet they claim my holy name, and yet I am far from them. They quote my words. They use them as a weapon against you, and everyone else who warns to repent and seek Yeshua's faith. Please visit AMightyWind.com and AlmightyWind.com and study the prophetic words that were given by God to Prophet Elizabeth Elijah.